Dreams can turn to nightmares. My name is Cassius Kent and holy crap the Dreaming City looks amazing. Yesterday, Bungie released a trailer for the Dreaming City and out of nowhere, it looks incredible. It looks fun, it looks engaging, it looks like there's a lot to discover and a lot to do and they've been hyping this up for a while saying that the Dreaming City is the end game experience. This is what end game is. We built an entire space for you to just go have fun in and it looks like they're going to be doing that. There are a lot of mysteries. The raid takes the, the raid take, takes place there. We've known that. We, I, I'm still not entirely sure on the name of the Dreaming City, but it has to it has to do with the fallen, not the fallen, the taken. Excuse me. And I am just so glad that I can be excited for Destiny again. As a solo player, I look forward to not being able to do a lot of the things at the end of the game because my original issue in vanilla Destiny, Destiny One and Two, is that as a solo player. Eventually, I ran out of stuff to do, and not for lack of trying. I had done everything, you know, I, I squatted up with people, I did the raids, I, I did the nightfalls, etc, etc, and then eventually I was, that was it, that was, that was it, I'm done. But now in Destiny 2 with The Dreaming City, I now have more options for the end game, and I think that's what everyone wanted. There was no end game progression in Destiny 2 at all, outside of doing raids, and that's bad for a game like this, because eventually you're gonna have all most of the weapons, eventually you're gonna hit all your goals, and then then what? So what do you think about the Dreaming City? I think that it's gonna be great. I hope that it's gonna be great. I don't think it's I don't think they're hyping this up for no reason whatsoever. I think that I think that there's a good chance that the Dreaming City is everything we're gonna hope to be. It's gonna be all the dreams that we've had. And maybe some nightmares too. It's just I hope they deliver on the Dreaming City. It's so important that they deliver on the Dreaming City because we've been here before, right? They've talked they've talked us up before. And I just don't want that to happen again. I really don't. I'm still off, cautiously optimistic. I'm excited, but I'm still thinking of all the things that, that that's happened. History is doomed to repeat itself, but it doesn't have to. Not always. But I've been Cassius Kent. What do you think about the Dreaming City? What do you think about this trailer? Do you think you're going to be hopping back into Destiny 2 if the Dreaming City looks appealing to you? Do you think the loot's going to be appealing to you? Let me know in the comments below if you're new here. I release five videos a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my Destiny days. And please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a like if you like what you see and you like what you hear. And until next time, please take care.